Hey friends and family, welcome to Marcy Creates. This is Marcy and happy Monday to you. Tonight, I have a special treat for you. I have a double header video. We're gonna do the unboxing of the latest Dee Dee's Deluxe bead box. And then I have a finished jewelry update for you. Uh, the jewelry that I finished with her cherry box, which was gorgeous. And I uh, wanna make sure I get this out to you because it was brought to my attention gently by my dad that I promised you a video with finished jewelry last week and didn't do it. So shame on me. But you're getting a double header tonight, so I hope that makes up for it. Anyway, tonight I'm gonna unbox this gorgeous box for July and then uh, show you what I made with that cherry box. And then tomorrow night for Tutorial Tuesday, we'll make something for, with this box. So, if you haven't seen the unboxing for the cherry box, I will link it in my description, but let's get started. So, I love her boxes. They're exquisite, and I'm really looking forward to this. I did peek just a little. I have to be, I have to be honest about that. Uh, but I really didn't look too closely because I wanted it to be fresh. So, July 2023 edition. So we have, the theme is, what am I? I am one of the fastest insects in the world, capable of flying at speeds up to 60 miles an hour. I am delicate and known for my aerial acrobatics and vibrant colors. I am carnivorous with a unique hunting technique and catch my prey using my strong jaws. Can you guess what am I without looking at the contents? So, hmm. I don't think butterflies are carnivorous. And I don't think moths are either. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with a dragonfly. Now, I like I said, I did peek, but I didn't see, I really didn't see much. This was Marley was looking at the colors, but that's kind of funny that she's got question marks. I'm going to go with dragonfly, which I love. So let's see if I'm right. <laughs> well, the thank you is uh, such a cute little sticker. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, looky there. Dragonflies, look at this strand. Oh, you guys, okay. I don't, that's enough, because I gotta, we gotta unveil everything. Everything needs its own drum roll, you know, when it's Dee Dee's box. Look at that. Well, actually it's Stella, but Dee Dee's deluxe bead box. Look at this. Um, I'm gonna put a little thing under here. That's see-through, but it's got a luster on it and kind of a dusting. Why can't I get my fingers to work? There we go. Wow. I love that. Look at these um, dagger beads. They look like dragonfly wings, don't they? Love that chartreuse and the purple. And then I love the pop of fuchsia. That's a fun colorway. Okay, we're off to an amazing start. That must be the check strand that she has listed. Let's see what else we have. What did I do with her her list? <laughs> I lost her list. Ah, I'm so silly. Okay, so that's the check designer strand. Then we have light grape, jade, semi-precious stones. I think that's gotta be these guys. 15 inch strand. I love that dusty purple. It looks really pretty with that. Ooh, I love these colors already. Okay, a seven and a half inch strand of six millimeter galaxy tiger eye. More tiger eye. We had some yesterday with the Sam's bead box. Uh, look at those. Now this is a deep purple. We had kind of a magenta. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to be able to use some of the stuff from Sam's B 
bead box with this too because the colors all coordinate. I mean, look at that fuchsia. The, the magenta would look great with this. That's so fun when you get boxes that coordinate. That is gorgeous. Okay. Eight millimeter titanium coated pansy purple faceted druzy. Ooh. That, ooh, that, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Feast your eyes on that. First of all, they're faceted and I love druzy, but then they have this really gorgeous coating. Those are stunning. And I think about, you know, a lot of the insects, when the sun hits their wings and things, they're very iridescent. And dragonflies are too. I mean, that is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love that. Okay. Twisted Ivory Vintage Glass Pearls, a nine inch strand. Those are pretty. Love those. Again, I love the the gloss on those. Mm. Gorgeous. All right. Seven inch strand of eight by four millimeter purple pink tone faceted crystal rondelle mix. Oh. Nice. Love that. Again, you've got that iridescence. This is gonna be a very fun box. I have to think on this. I have I have till tomorrow to think on this. <laughs> okay, let's see. 15 inch strand of four millimeter mystic chartreuse faceted crystals. That's gotta be these jobbers right here. Stunning. You get quite a few. I love that green with the other colors. Again, super shiny, lovely facets. Definitely a box that's catching the light, playing with light. Wow. So pretty. Okay. Uh... Five by five, eight millimeter metallic gold plated hematite wavy, wavy discs. Fun. Love them. So these are hematite. They're nice and cool. It's so hot here. This feels so good. <laughs> I need, I need a mattress made out of this. <laughs> Probably wouldn't sleep too good, but I'd be cool. <laughs> Do they make hematite mattresses? <laughs> Inquiring minds. All right. Eight pieces of 18 by 10 millimeter metallic rainbow barrel beads. Boy, do I love these. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have any of these in my stash, but I've seen them. Look at those. Maybe I've gotten some in a mix or two, but they're that's the end. Look at the finish. Oh, so cool. Definitely picking up all the iridescent gorgeousness of this box. Wow, okay. Four pieces of 22 by 20 gold drizzled fuchsia acrylic beads. That's gotta be these. Oh, these are cool. Gold drizzled fuchsia, what is it? Acrylic beads, okay. That was a mouthful. <laughs> Look at that fuchsia. <gasps> oh, it's got spots of purple in it and gold. Oh, you guys, they're very lightweight, but look at that. Oh my gosh. And the whole, they're on the bias, so the hole goes through that. Um, that way. Let's see if you can see that. Wow, look at that pop of fuchsia with all of this. 
Mm. That's a happy color combo. This is going to be so much fun to play with. All right. One set of lavender chiffon with crystal earring tassels. Ooh, that's gotta be these guys. I hope they don't blow away. I have my ceiling fan on. <laughs> a while back, I, when I did an unboxing, or maybe it was a finished jewelry. No, it had to have been an unboxing. I had these really delicate butterfly beads. I think they were from Jesse James and my ceiling fan, they were flying away. They literally were turning into live butterflies practically. These are amazing. Wow. <gasps> Those are cool. What a cool idea. Wow. Definitely gonna have to experiment with those. So there's there's six. I mean, they're tied, they, they have the little loop on the end. I don't know if you can see that. So they're attached right now, but you could definitely add them. What a sculptural element to add to something. Love that. And I love the, that purple. All right. One piece of 30 by 35 antique silver, big old question marks, bracelet slider connector. That's got to be this. That's cool. So here's your bracelet slider. You could do leather. You could do some fairy silk. You could do sari. You could do macrame if you know how to do macrame. Here's the back. It's a nice size. Isn't that gorgeous? I love the detail and how that brings out the the smooth wings. It's a really attractive piece. I really like that. This is beautiful, Stella. <laughs> gorgeous. She makes gorgeous boxes, though. All right. Six pieces of 20 millimeter antique brass. More question marks. Connector. Oh. Is that right? Yeah. Antique brass. I think I have some of these in silver, but I don't think I have them in brass. But these are fun. Because you can make, I've made dragonflies, I think, with the silver ones from a box. And I may do the same thing with these, we'll see. But those are really pretty. And it does kind of pick up on that gold tone that we have going on. Even the etchings in these are gold. Oh, I just noticed this bead. Look at that with the flower. And the fuchsia. That's, I mean, the. that's not fuchsia. <laughs> Chartreuse. <laughs> it's next to fuchsia. Did I tell you yesterday I was losing my words? I think I need some of that ginkgo biloba. I think I do. Okay, two pieces of 18 by 14 millimeter question mark charms. I'm gonna go with these. These are adorable. Little, look, my nails match, you guys. Someone was asking me about my nails and I, I'll put the link in my description, but it's by a company called Dashing Diva. They're literally stickers that you put on your nails. So you can get these crazy, because I can't do this. I don't, I'm a mess when I paint my own nails. Look at these. Now they have a little bit of lavender in the wings. So anyway, that's, if you're wondering about the nails. And they last a long time too. And no, I'm not being paid to advertise. <laughs> I'm just telling you my experience. If you have trouble with nail polish, give, that, give these a try. I'll put the link. Love this. Can't wait to play with those. Look how pretty. I love that that's got just a le least bit, little bit of lavender in there. 
really cute. I've always liked dragonfly stuff. Okay, two sets of high quality gold stainless steel and 14 karat gold plated ear wires. Nice. I'm not going to take them out of the bag, but you got some kidney shaped ones. It looks like. And you have some regular like French wire. So that's nice. And this month's bonus is an antique gold toggle clasp with a really cute dragonfly. Very, very sweet. Let's see, is there a dragonfly on the yeah. So there's dragonfly on the toggle and the round piece. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. So, yes, Stella, you, you, you knocked it out of the park, my dear. It is beautiful. And she had a challenge with, they had a flood and they had to move. So I'm amazed that you got this out and it was so beautiful and we're just glad you're up and running because well, I'm a fan and we all just love your boxes and you are so sweet. And we just absolutely, I can't wait to play with this tomorrow night in my Tuesday tutorial. So that is What Am I theme, Dragonfly. Stunning, can't wait to play with it. Stay tuned tomorrow night. So now I'm gonna do a finished jewelry update. Let me just give you a really quick Another gander at all of this gorgeousness. Really pretty. I'm moving it so you can see all the coatings and the iridescence. Oh, so pretty. Definitely something that'd be gorgeous outside wearing. Not in Texas, it's too hot. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to put these away for now and then I will start showing you what I made with the cherry box. So stay tuned. Okay, you ready to see some finished jewelry with the cherry box from uh, Dee Dee's Bargain Bead Box? Uh, Dee Dee's Bargain Bead Box. <laughs> I'm so confused. Dee Dee's Deluxe Bead Box. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Anyway, it's late. What can I say? Uh, I made two pairs of earrings. I think you saw the ones I did on the actual unboxing. And then I have two necklaces and a bracelet. So I'm gonna show you the bracelet first. Uh, I did a memory wire bracelet and I absolutely loved everything in the box. So I wanted to represent, you know, that really pretty bird, the Czech bird and the gorgeous gemstones. And then these barrel beads were so cool. And these were kind of le the leftovers, should we say? They, I had, I still have a few beads left, not many. Um, but I thought, you know, this is always a great way to use up beads that you have to make a set. So that is the bracelet. And, you know, it's memory wire. So let me put it on. It's real easy to take on and off. I have big wrists, so a uh, smaller person, this might not be two, it'll be probably three coils, but for me, I'm a big girl, so, but yeah, you can see it on. It looks very nice. I love all the colors and it's comfortable to wear. I like the look of bangles, but I, I, I type a lot in my day job and I, I bang it against the desk and I, I just can't wear them when I'm working. I can wear them when I'm out, but this is a great solution for those of us that type on the computer because there's some give, right? So that is the bracelet. Oh, and I love that little check bead too, the flower. Then these are the earrings that I made on the unboxing video. If you have not seen that, I will link the video so you can watch it. So we have the mate I made off camera. I just made one of them. 
And I love these fan beads. And I loved the tulip with the gorgeous iridescence. And then we used, I used some twisted wire to do a nice little wrap. Nice little dangly long earrings. And then I got a little bit of help and inspiration from my mom on these earrings because I was sitting in front of the TV playing with them. And she suggested I hang this right in front of this beautiful uh, kind of branch looking detailed uh, diamond. And I just hung the birdies. It hangs super nice. I think it turned out really nice. And I love that she made that suggestion. I had part of this made and she took these and slid them right under and said, what about that? And I was like, wow, she has a good eye, my mom. So I always like to get her input. Yeah, so there's the mate. I think those turned out really nice. I'm happy with them. So there's our earrings and our bracelet. So now I'm going to move these up just a minute so that you can see the necklaces because they're going to need more room. All right. So some of you may have seen, I think I posted this on my Facebook group under Marcy Creates and you can join if you'd like. But this piece, I... I think I just showed this much of the necklace. Uh, so I finished it and I absolutely fell in love with this check bead. I took the fairy silk and I wove it in and out of this really gorgeous leaf piece that was in the box. And then I did some, some stations that I connected and then I made kind of um, a little loop of beads I thought it would just add more interest instead of just straight stringing it I did put a toggle with leaves to kind of match I don't remember if that came in the box or not but that's what I used and some chain and I think it turned out super nice it hangs really beautifully I love the dangles with the leaves I'll hold this up closer so you can see it so I made this piece first and I attached it after I wrapped the the silk and then I just did a few wire wrapping stations and then I made this I believe with 18 gauge wire and I literally just made a loop and twist twisted the ends to make a link yeah. It hangs just super nice. And uh, that's what I was going to say too. Uh, for the finished jewelry in the future, I'm setting up a different spot in the house so that I can have all my mannequins and things stationary. And then I can do finished jewelry update where it's actually hanging off of a bust. And I think you'll get a better idea. I just uh, don't have the room right now in the studio that I'm in. So I'm going to have to invade another space of the house. Pretty soon this whole house is going to be Marcy Creates. <laughs> anyway, that is this necklace. This I made first. And then I made another one. I played with more wire. This is the other one I made. So I took the leaves and I did some wrapping here and I made this pendant with the chain and little birdie and then I just made stations and did some more wire wrapping and this one I think is slightly longer than the other one and I just did a lobster claw with a round ring and this would be a nice layering piece you could do like another necklace right here. It's super light, not heavy at all. I like how the leaves turned out here. 
I may do that again in the future. I really like the way that turned out. And uh, yeah, so this one I did those really cute little check flowers and these bead cap things were cool. Oh, look, I've got a <laughs> better tuck that in before we do anything. I'll make a note of that. Uh, I love the bead caps. And of course the, the, fla the birdies. So let me lay it all out for you. So this is what's really nice about, you know, you can do a collection. Uh, all these beads, I really don't think I added anything of my own this time, except for maybe some findings. But um, I stuck with what was in the box and I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. I hope you're enjoying seeing all the goodies. They were, again, a fun, fun box to work with. I loved everything that was in the box. And uh, I'll just give you some close-ups here. I'll just move my tray slowly so no one gets vertigo. But this is my finished jewelry update for that cherry box from Dee Dee's bead box. Dee Dee's deluxe bead box, sorry. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will be doing more of these. Like I said, I'm getting set up to have a more permanent space to be able to do that. Um, thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the double feature of unboxing and finished jewelry reveal. If you'd like me to do more of that, let me know. I don't have to do separate videos. I can put, you know, if, if it's not too much, too long for you, I can definitely combine more than one topic. You know, we're all busy people. So if that works for you, I can certainly do that too. So uh, anyway, thank you so much for joining me tonight. And be looking for Tutorial Tuesday tomorrow with our Dragonfly-themed DD Deluxe Speed Box, which I can't wait to jump into. And thank you for joining me and seeing these. Stay tuned for more of that. I'm trying to think, is there, I may be doing one more video this week after Tutorial Tuesday. I think I've got something else up my sleeve. So just be on the lookout if you hit that bell um, icon, then you'll be notified when I upload a new video. And do please like and subscribe if you have not. I have a lot of people watching my videos, but not everybody is subscribed. So it really helps my channel if you would subscribe. And with that being said, I'm gonna bid you adieu for the evening. I hope you have a wonderful night, what's left of it, or day or morning, whenever it is you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow night for Tutorial Tuesday. Take care.